Hello. Last time I made a film, it was to show you how to make a full colour lino cut using one piece of lino in my registration device. This time I want to show you how to make a multiple block lino cut using my registration device with a separate piece of lino for each colour. My registration device comes with a piece of MDF as a backing board for your lino. You'll need several backing boards for the various pieces of lino for this print. They could be MDF but they could just as well be cardboard or mount board. The first thing to do is to get your lino in the same place each time and to do that you can see I've just ruled a frame on my MDF. I've then taken my piece of lino and stuck it to the board. I've used carpet tile adhesive but you could use double sided tape, probably heavy carpet tape would work best for this so that you have several pieces of lino on several pieces of board all stuck in pretty much the same place. The first thing you need to do is decide on your design and transfer that design onto the first piece of lino so that you can cut yourself a key or line block. I'm not going to show you any of that or my cutting because that's in the last video. Here is my key block that I have already cut and it outlines every piece of my design. Printed up, it looks like this. And as you can see, it has all the information necessary for me to see where my color blocks will go. The next step is to put your line block into the registration device for printing to transfer that line onto your other blocks. Here's the registration device. It has a bench hook on it to hold everything steady and the frame lifts up so that the block can go in. You'll notice that I've put an arrow on my block so that I'm going to put it into the registration device the same way up each time that I use it. So I'm going to close the frame and I've got a piece of tracing paper here. I'm going to use tracing paper to print on because it doesn't absorb the ink very quickly and we want wet ink on this to transfer it onto the next lino cut block. So I'm going to pop it down on my frame. At the moment I'm not interested in the grid on the frame. What I want is the tracing paper to fit over the lino block in the frame and I'm just going to stick that in place with a bit of masking tape to hold it steady. Now that I have my tracing paper in place I'm going to open up the frame and take out my line block for printing and I'm going to ink it up with some water-based ink here and I'm being quite generous with the ink, probably a little bit more generous than I would be if I were printing onto paper for a finished print and I'm making sure that I'm catching down every area of detail because You'll need that information to know where to cut the other blocks for your colours. So now that I've got that printed up all over, I'm going to pop it back into my frame the right way up and bring down the tracing paper on top of it. And I'm just going to use this cheap plastic baron to take my impression onto the tracing and I'm working my way all over making sure that I have caught down every bit of detail that I need and now I'm going to lift the frame again be very careful when you lift it that you don't move the tracing paper and out comes the line block and now I have a new piece of lino stuck to a board with the same grid on it that I had for my line block. So it's in pretty much the same position. And I'm going to pop that back down and bring down the tracing paper with the wet ink on top of that block. And I'm going to go back to the baron and work all over the print to transfer the wetting back down onto the lino. 
In addition to the baron, I have a spoon here and I just want to work that over the print to make sure that I've caught down every bit of detail. And when I've done that, I'm going to lift off the tracing paper and you can see I now have all the information from the line block on a fresh piece of lino and this can now be cut for one of my colour blocks. For each colour I'm going to need a new piece of lino and I'm going to repeat this process. So I have as many blocks as I have colours and each one of them has the whole image on it so that I know where to do my cutting. Now that I've used this line block to catch the information I needed to cut my other colour blocks, I can get on with completing the lino cut. My design has three blocks. The line block here, and now I have a block for all the green parts of my image, and this is what that looks like printed up. And I also have a block here for all the red areas of my image. This is the doodle that I draw when I'm waiting on the telephone. Now I want to remind you how to position your printing paper so that you can take your prints and remove the paper for drying and replace it in exactly the same place each time until you've got a completed lino cut. So I'm going to take my paper and put it onto the frame of my registration device using this grid. So the first thing to do is to line it up in the middle of the device with this long line here and I'm just going to stick it down with a couple of bits of masking tape and then I'm going to carefully go around the edge of the paper marking off the lines from the registration device onto the back of the printing paper. It's very important that you do this and that you cover every line because that way when you come to put this paper down again it can only ever go into exactly the same position to make sure that all these lines match up. So when that's done the frame can be opened ready to receive the lino for the first layer of the print. I have already printed the red and the green blocks for this print and each time I printed a layer I hung the print up and I let it dry thoroughly. It's really important that you let your lino cut dry between each layer of colour. If you print wet on wet the print will be soft and a little clumsy. If you wait until the ink is bone dry before you print then you'll have a nice crisp result at the end. So here I have my paper, it's positioned so that all the lines line up and it's already printed with the green layer and the red layer. Now I'm going to print the final layer which is the line block. So I'm going to put that to one side and I'm going to ink up my line block for printing. This time I'm going to be slightly less generous with the ink than I was with the inking up when I was registering onto the tracing paper. This time instead of wanting as much ink as possible so that we had plenty of information on the lino, I want a nice fine layer of ink so that I get a crisp and detailed print. So now that I've inked up my block, I'm just checking it. If you tilt your block to the light when you've inked it up, you can easily see if there are any areas that you've missed. And I'm going to pop it into my registration device here for the final layer of printing. And the frame comes down over it. And again, I'm going to take my baron and I'm going to take the time to work over the whole print and I'm being nice and firm with the pressure. Little circles are best. Don't be too enthusiastic or you could push 
the paper off the liner. You want firm little circles to put an even pressure over the whole block. Now the nice thing about this registration device is it does let you have a sneaky peek at the picture to see how we're doing. It's looking pretty good to me but I'm just going to use a spoon to make sure that I've caught down all the little lines of the fur cones here. Printing is as much a skill as cutting and it's well worth taking the time to make sure that you've printed well. So now that I've done that, I can lift off my print and here you have it, a full colour multi-block print with three layers. Thank you for watching this film. You can buy my registration device online at my website at www lauraboswell.co.uk You can also follow me online at my virtual open studio on Facebook. Just look for Laura Boswell Printmaker. Thank you. You need to make sure you've got every bit of detail covered because <laughs> I think we've got our comedy outtake. <laughs> And you've got ink on your foot. Which foot have you got ink on? Oh, cat! You've got ink all over your feet. Is <laughs> that helping? Mm.